Yay, we're going back to this clean up detail. I forgot. It's time to ruin Christmas. What the hell, man? I really like the rubber texture on these gloves, by the way. That is some fancy rubber gloves you got there, kiddo. I gotta get... Is the mouse? No? No, it's on 40. I guess it's just because of Cubat. I just played it, so... I'm a little bit confuzzled. Confusement? I don't have much to say today. Just that uh, we gotta do some cleaning. Stupid keyboard dwarves. The stupid little bells. Why is red and green the color of Christmas? Look at those buttons. Those are some lovely buttons. What is there to say? What do you want me to say? Do you want me to talk more about the Keebler Elves? Because I don't have anything positive to say. Just that they're stupid, shitty elves. And that Christmas is a stupid, shitty holiday. Look at all these candy canes. Nobody likes candy canes! And if you like candy canes, I'll come and kill you so you won't like candy canes anymore. And then nobody likes candy canes, because you're dead! That's called cherry picking, and it involves destroying any evidence to the contrary. What just happened to the. Oh no! The arm must have entered infinite space. I just failed the map! Because now there is an I. I hate infinite space so much. Also, welcome to the most annoying part. And it's probably one of the more annoying parts. Because there's so much debris and like the stupid glass shards that are annoying to deal with. What do you think you're tough to all? You think you're tough? I'm gonna show you tough. I'm a janitor. I'm a Juan Ito. Fucking Keebler Dwarf. 
I just cleaned that spot. And they think they can go around and start making a mess. I have a job, people. I've got to clean the shit you made by being dead. Stupid dead bodies with their stupid dead stupidness! Oh, we were going to read the books. <sighs> Guess I'm going to have to read the books. You know, we'll read the books in a moment, after I fill this crate with shenanigans and toss it away. Well, that's where the arm went! Well, that's good. That solves a problem. I wonder how much this channel gets for constantly pumping out the rock music due to the Christmas Carol chaos. In you go. Yeah, this is uh, quite the mess. And it's not about to get better, anyway. Anyway, I actually don't know how to turn off Ghost, so you know what? Let's clean up this room first. Shit. Stupid body parts. Cleaning, cleaning, gotta clean them britches. God damn it. Oh, so it either spits out an elf or a fat crate. That's good to know. Stupid slack spaniels. I know you're Jack Spaniels, this duplicate. We all know the tooth. And we will acknowledge nothing but the tooth. I think this is the perfect moment to use our detectometer and see if these things do count as rubbish. How the fuck do you clean these up then? I'm gonna have to look that up. Apparently we just stuff them in a bucket. 
But I remember trying that. I guess I just didn't do it right. Fuck you, MTK. I wish you could refill them. And that that refill station would also sometimes spill out blood. Because this game hates you. Well, if this isn't a safe way to dispose of a Molotov cocktail, I don't know. This looks a bit like champagne! With a nice ice-cold bucket filled with ice and water. And now we take a few steps back. And we pray to the god of janitors. The janitorial god. What a man he is. He's not a great god, though. For some reason, the janitorial god is remarkably lazy. It seems that my plan has horribly backfired. Which means that I will leave the fireplace in a remarkable state for a while. Why does it go that way? I need it to be vertical. I guess you could just use gravity, but that's such a chore. Gotta okay, pick up the piece and make it go vertical. Or it won't fit in the boxes. God damn it, I'm a janitor! Not a mathematician. If this one goes night and straight, it's like Waseed. I'm straight as a rod. This man is as straight as a ruler, as the Mathema Wizards would say. On the plus side, scorch marks don't give you footprints, which is great, because it means I can just leave it there for a while. Now we gotta clean up those stubby little legs. So they're not that stubby, actually. The elf body proportion is remarkably well set up, I would say. They've got a severe case of dead eye, though. Now I've got a severe case of not enough buckets. Did the other one explode? We'll clean that up later. I'm a janitor, not a wizard! You may be like, well, why do we hire this guy? He's not even... He keeps saying that he's a janitor. And then he does something that not that we're supposed to do. Clean up the spill? I'm a janitor, not a janitor. But that's just... I don't care about your rhetoric. All I care about is math of magic. Which is like Magic the Gathering, only with numbers. I'll tell you this, though. Zero is OP in divisions. Please nerf. I love that argument. Please nerf. Okay, I'm gonna work on a counter strategy. I'm just gonna ask for someone to fix the game for me. Oh yeah, um... Here's a, probably a spot you missed. Because it's not too obvious. There's a, a pair of legs in the in the chandelier, so to speak. Oh, God damn it! this is a perfectly usable wooden beam. 
What is wrong with Santa Claus that he goes around murdering elves or keyboard dwarves as they really are? We call them elves out of politeness, out of the bottom of our hearts. Much less the practical. I need to keep track of how much I've recorded. I forgot to set my watch. You know what? Let's toss this thing full of junk and go read those books. I think another leg would fit. Is there any dynamite I can dispose of? As of now, I see none. How do you undo ghost? Live. <gasps> what is the opposite of ghosts? Doesn't matter. Let's read some books. These actually look like two distinct shelves of no, no, no. Let's start. Critical thinking: the evil among us. By Reverend Bendover. Haven't we already... No, 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 no. We'll later see a note by a man named Bendover. Also, why are my fingertips all sugary in the back of my hand? That's weird. Kicking Balls. A Foot to Baller's Tale. By Ronaldo Sanchez. Elvish Workers. The Operations Man... That is a lot of books. Book for one. A Tall Order. How to Deal with Elves. That's, that's a joke. By Johnny Bigot and Francis Petty. Reindeer Husbandry. By Anna Mills. Implausible Sludge Physics. By Unknown. War Battle. A heroic tale of men overcoming adversity by shooting at it. Sounds reasonable. The Revenge of Captain Groschbreich. Of Groschreich. He does know that that's just a long S, right? By Hans Host. Think positive. You're screwed anyway. By Chucky O. Jerkoff, PhD. That sounds like a glorious son of a gun. Yeah, Crouch is still uh, in the game. It's recognized by the, the ghost command. It's just not recognized by the game as an option. Rags are riches. Lord Ivory, Gold Hammer, Money Pockets. Kick their asses and take their cash by Ronald Turnip. The Retail Economics, Getting the Most Out of Christmas, by William B. Boring. Lovely. The Laws of Physics, Legal Loopholes Thereof. Shoot it, A Modern Guide to Firearm Handling. I get the idea that Mr. Claus wasn't in a very positive mood. Ah, uh, look at this. There were CD codes for a certain game, scattered all around. I think this would be the perfect moment to show them off, since I'm already in ghost mode. It might also be the reason that they left uh, God mode, th this mode in. Anyway. Oh, my leg's sleeping. Great. History's 20 Deadliest Mustaches. A guide to world religions. Which is the best one? I don't know. I say the analphabetic religion, since no one has to read. Darwinism 101? How to read the Bible by Pastor Bill Senior Senior. <laughs> Sir Odwin Edgecombe? What? 
So not only was good old Mr. Claus, like, first he's like trying to learn how to use his elves, and then he, he, he has to work on it, and then he's like, you know what, I'm going to go kill some people. And he's like, no, I've got to fight it. I'm great. And then he's like, well, I'm having an existential crisis. Might as well go nuts. How to play the Glockenspiel, beginner to advanced, by Gunther von Betrug. Taxidermy for dorks, by Ep by Epworth T. Sol Slotlock. Sl that is a that is a weird mingle of. Uh oh wait, no, that's a joke. Cause slot is a lock in Dutch. That's a joke. I see your joke. I just don't know what the name's supposed to mean in relation to taxidermy. 173 hilarious ways to avoid taxes. By, Gide by Gideon and Muriel Kidkill. I bet they don't have kids. And they kill them. Postal Service, how to deal with stress before it's too late. Why is that a Postal Service book? Is that a series I don't know of? Making the big cheese in the game by Big, da big Dog B. Oh! I got it wrong. I thought it was like a mafia thing. Beard care at sub-zero temperatures. How many horror stories by Curtis Bastard? Oh, that's nifty. Contemplative seventy-century poetry by Lord Jenkins and Sipidus. What? Sipidus. Oh, reindeer hoof and antler carried by A.S. Peacock. Ass Peacock, I think he means. Little Master, getting the most out of your elves by Reginald Corkley Pudding, Cro Pudding Crotch. Lovely. Marine Corps, 15 brutal trousers. 15 most brutal trousers. <laughs> what about these most? He's got like this book on hilarious way. I don't even know. The Mega Great Definitive Guide to DIY Dentistry. By Rip Heartless. I think this guy was trying to save himself some money. After all those lawsuits we burnt. Oh, what's that stench? Try to keep your reindeer. Ooh. Weight loss secrets of the super rich. By Chubbis McPerson. Are you saying not just fat? Because he might be. I don't know. Responsible flamethrower ownership. By Private Cedric Crazy Nine Buckman. 101 Hardcore Navy Exercises by Bing Hardbottom. I don't know what LDRML means. Mein Ringen. I think that is a reference to Mein Kampf and that he's going completely bonkers. Also, these books are one giant thing, so there's not even a cover to read. Arachnid Boys, Volume 7 to 12. Yay. And these are all the same books. Are they? It might just be a trick, and there's like a few new ones. No. Yeah, they're all the same book set, so technically speaking, if one is one, then one is the other. Yep. He has a lot of duplicates. Since I might want to fix those. Anyway, let me pull up that guide. There are 15 keys, but the guide only mentions 11 of them. Apparently, there were $95 uh, dollars worth of games in uh, Serious Sam, because I think th apparently the people who made this make Serious Sam, or else they wouldn't make it. Here's the first code. Oh, the second one's sneaky. We already had the beam, we already had the, the... Did we already? Oh yeah, I pointed this one out, but I never showed it up close. These keys are all activated, by the way. Like, really? Did you think anything else? Oh, that one's a sneak. This reminds me of uh, Duke Nukem 3D. They did a lot of these tiny text things everywhere, didn't they? Where is it? There it is. Unlike the place you look. The chimney. There's one on the chimney of all places? Oh, there it is. Interesting. Weird how that's double-sided. Oh, there's one on the bookshelf. 
And that one's pretty sneaky. Oh, evil light. The shelf. There it is. The ceiling. Oh, oh, there it is. Yay! Oh, all 15 are on this one. The beam, too. Oh, really? There's one in the painting? The cave painting. Let's see if I can find the cave painting. These paintings are pretty neat, by the way. Oh! That's actually well hidden. The grenade painting. Oh, that one's super sneaky! That one's really sneaky. The barn door. That's all of them. That's neat. Uh, it's a bit of an elaborate way to give people free games, but whatever. I'll probably use a ghost to pick up the last few pieces anyway. Again, what's with the doors? What's with this beam? Amphibious. Unduck, unsprint. Didn't fix it. Oh, it did! That's a weird code. Hey, that's me! Wait. Those are some fancy boots you got there, kiddo. Oh my god, he has a soul patch. Are you kidding me? Really? Just look, just look, sky. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Bye!